Search Auto Trader. Entry level cars are a massive segment in the car buying market. Whether you need a runabout for your business or your family, or mostly, this may very well be your first car. And in this vein, we have the updated Suzuki Espresso in 1 liter S edition trim here. So we are going to be discussing five pros and five cons of the updated Espresso. But now I am 10 years too old to be considered youth, so let me dress a little bit more appropriately for this one. One moment. Yo, young citizens, I'm here to wax lyrical about this ride. No cap, it's bass, let's get it. This needs a translation. The updated Suzuki Espresso comes with updated kit across the board. Some of the range-wide upgrades in the safety area include ESP, Isofix, two airbags on all the models, and hill hold on the AMT automatic models. And according to the Global NCAP Safer Cars for Africa program, this vehicle right here scored a total of 3 out of 5 stars. Link to those results are in the description below, but I'll also put up a picture on screen here. In spite of the range-wide features, and even some features only found in premium vehicles, the Espresso feels a bit spartan in some areas. Like for example, you only get one extra slot to add an accessory, no center interior light, and in some instances, storage spaces. Like, check this here, we got a great infotainment system, but uh, there isn't really a storage space to put my phone. Let me demonstrate. That's not seated properly. What if you're having lattes with the boys and then you have to seat your phone like this? We need more storage spaces, Suzuki. Please. The drivetrain. In the updated Espresso, we have a new engine for the range. The new K10C 1-liter dual-jet 3-cylinder non-petrol turbo engine did that in one take. It produces 49 kilowatts and 89 newton meters. I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but you're not going to be taking down Golf R's on William Nickel anytime soon. But remember this. This car only weighs 765 kilograms. An average hatchback is around the 1,100 kilogram mark. This engine isn't pulling much around, and this car comes with a manual gearbox, and you can also have the option of an AMT Automatic 2, but this three-part combo is excellent and fuel efficient to boot, but we'll get to that. While the drivetrain in this car is mm, chef's kiss, the suspension and handling leaves a lot to be desired. The Espresso feels wallowy, not very responsive, and it takes a lot of steering wheel turns for agility exercises around town. Especially considering that, hey, Suzuki made this car and they know how to make agile vehicles. That much is for certain, I own one. It's disappointing and I feel the handling needs to be tightened up quite a bit. I I'm hardly putting in any effort. I'm hardly putting in any. <laughs> Before we continue, here's a quick intermission showing off a new tool on the Auto Trader website. Hey, you want to sell your car instantly? Then boy, do I have a tool for you on the autotrader.coza website. All you got to do is go to the sell my car tab and you will find instant offer. Well, what is instant offer exactly? You may be asking. Well, it's in the name. You sell your car instantly and you get an offer. So all you got to do is you fill in your make and model, registration year, mileage, fill in your location and we handle the rest. What does it feature exactly? You get a free valuation in seconds and AutoTrader provides a trusted valuation based on live market data. You get your best offer in under 60 minutes. I mean, we take the hassle out of selling, only presenting you with the very best offer. And we come to you. You don't need to drive anywhere. Our esteemed buying partners will come to you anytime, any place. Man, those buying partners are like Swiss watches. They're Exact. Clockwork, if you will. And there's no haggling, it's instant payment. You sell your car in hours, not days. And paperwork is super fast and you get paid instantly. I mean, it's in the name, instant offer. So, go and get an obligation-free instant offer today. But that being said, back to the video. The updated Suzuki Espresso comes with new 14-inch alloy wheels for the GR Plus and S edition trims. And I quite like the design of these, in fact. They are four split-spoke wheels with a two-tone satin finish. And I scheme these would look nice on other Suzuki models too. Now, styling is always going to be a subjective thing, but with the Espresso, to me at least, it doesn't look all that cohesive and attractive compared to the other K cars in Suzuki's range, at least for Japan, that is. Take, for example, the Espresso's cousin, the Hustler, and even the Wagon R to some extent. They do look better in my opinion, and I can see that this is a SUV of high ground clearance and everything in between, but the front bumper even, at least to me, it looks like a double cheeseburger patty. Mm. 
One of the largest things on this micro SUV is the fuel economy. Now, the engine in this car is lifted from the new Suzuki Solerio, touted as the most fuel efficient car under 200,000 Rand at the time of its release. Now, with my driving style in the espresso here, which is frugal, erring onto the side of cheeky, I got 5 litres to 100 kilometres. Whilst the claimed fuel consumption for this vehicle is around 4.6 litres, it's pretty realistically achievable if you really behave. And not only that, there is stop-start technology in this vehicle, furthering your fuel saving. Pretty wicked. While it's novel to see start-stop technology in entry-level vehicles, such as this one, the system in the Espresso, I feel, needs refinement and, if anything, more reprogramming. When the system is active, you'll know it's going to engage because as the car coasts to a stop, you'll feel a vibrating sensation akin to the car almost stalling, even if you put the car in neutral. It's not that fun. The system engages when the car is about to come to a close stop instead, and I feel it would be better rather if the system could engage when the vehicle has come to a complete stop and then wait at least a second and then the car switches off. Would have worked way better in my opinion. In some instances, I almost stole the car because of the system, so it needs a bit of work. The infotainment system in this car surprises me. The system is responsive, sublime to use, and well thought out considering that this is an entry-level car. You don't get infotainment systems this good in entry-level cars. You get steering wheel controls which operate the stereo along with phone controls. And I mean, you only get two speakers in the front doors with the espresso, but they sound all right, rather than flat and devoid of character. I am not a fan of the Suzuki Espresso's driving position and seating. You sit way too high in the vehicle and I feel as if I'm a van driver almost. And I mean, my frame is only 175 centimeters minus the high top here. It's covered by a cap right now, but I am almost touching the roof. Check that out taller individuals will not enjoy. The only seat adjustability here is the backrest and the rails. You don't even get adjustable headrests and as you can see right here, check my oxyput, that's the back of your head thing here, but you don't know that word. It doesn't even touch my oxyput and that can be a little bit uncomfortable for some longer journeys. And not only that, the steering wheel does not have tilt or pan adjustment. So adjustable headrests, a height adjuster for the seat and some steering wheel adjustability would be really welcome here to improve the driving experience. Please Suzuki. Entry level cars are tough to produce. Manufacturers have to build within a certain budget but also need to treat their customers with dignity. The updated Suzuki Espresso here has some nice additions including the new and all important ESC which helps the driver stay in control of the car in a worst case scenario. If you need transportation at this price range, it's a decent enough car to consider. Test drive one for yourself and see. But that's it for now. It's all the time we have for the moment. And if you're looking to buy or sell a car, be sure to search autotrader.coza, your one-stop shop for SA's best used car marketplace. And while you're at it, if you want to sell your car quick and easy, consider trying our instant offer tool. That's it for now, and don't forget, search Autotrader.